open my god. Oh, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, learn to live. That <laughs> learn to live. <laughs> That's what they tell the Sonic Man. <laughs> 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 the song is even learned. <laughs> Learn to live. <laughs> cool oh. shirt. <laughs> Sonic, just like from the Sonic Adventure <laughs> coat pose, and it just says "Learn to live." <laughs> He's like holding like a blunt in one hand and an eviction notice in the other. A blunt what? <laughs> <laughs> Blow, sort of object. <laughs> yeah, he's just like, he's got like a fucking billy club <laughs> and, a, <laughs> and a vision notice. He's got like Amy, he's got like Amy Marcus <laughs> on his shoulder, like draped over. His shoulder. <laughs> he's like missing a foot. <laughs> uh, he's only he's only a foot and a half tall. <laughs> You see, like, matted, like, orange fur matted with blood on his shoes. <laughs> hey, it's the guy from the McDonald's toys. I remember those. I love those. those like, like two button. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I had the Tails cool. one. It was like a little soccer type game. I had that one too. I had the Sonic skateboarding one too. Oh, that's gnar. Look at how shiny they are. They look like plastic toys. Because I mean, they were. Yeah, this this game was actually made to market their McDonald's toys. Wow, the game looks just like my toys. <laughs> my toys. Can't 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 put down the volume on Crush Forty. Oh no. Oh, it's Pink Rhino crazy. Oh my God, it's it's Team Chaotix. Team K, yeah. It's the um, that's the the floating laboratory where the Black Widows are made. Floating laboratory. The right, floating it's shack <laughs> where it was a pile of shit so big it breached the water. <laughs> breached the water. <laughs> I had to fucking cut it up with a hose, a fucking uh, garden hose. That's hose, just, eh? <laughs> <laughs> just playing with it at it. Oh my it's, god, I'm dude! I'm sorry, I'm having a, I'm having a rough time <laughs> with this, Breathing? with this funny. <laughs> like a seagull, like a Freddy. The, the seagull at uh, watching Adam Sandler movies. <laughs> Why is Big the cat big? Ah, they fed him a little bit too much of that. Cow manure. Did he lick Froggy and go on the fucking munchies binge? <laughs> Dude, that'd be awesome. <laughs> Who do you want to play first? Well, you're going to play S Team Sonic. Okay, sounds good. Just so everybody knows, I've never played this game before. Um, We're about to see that. <laughs> I'm not... Oh, this feels so nice. The, the controller... Brandon has a little, um... Deceptively light, like Kirby. Yeah. <laughs> you would think that Ker Kirby has the weight of the world inside of his gullet. Hey, look, I it's love Kirby. No, being emu emulating it, I thought it would uh, kind of heighten the, uh... So, like the fidelity? Yeah, but it's, it looks... It's playing in, um... It's also playing in 1-1 one, one resolution. It's not like letterbox or anything. Is this how it would have... Oh, yeah, this is the letter. The letter? That's why, like, why do they, like, why does he call them Sonic Heroes? I think he's just the, the name he gave to Sonic Tails and Knuckles. <laughs> Dear Sonic the Hedgehog Heroes. This is also the last time Ryan Drummond voiced Sonic. Oh, really? Which Who's is? voicing Knuckles? Probably some douchebag <laughs> that doesn't know how to act. He sounds like a, like a 30 year old dude. Probably is. Who's in like a like a us? Are you talking about me? <laughs> yeah, it sounds like Brandon. <laughs> sounds like my kind of party. How did we end up from like in this desert, like this Grand Canyon ass place, to this like weird, like look at this environment we're about to enter if the game lets us? They ran. <laughs> oh, it's the song. I, I do remember the song. How do you play? Okay, A is jump. B is rack. B is let knuckles fall over on his face. It's <laughs> a good one. <laughs> <laughs> you can only play with that button. <laughs> oh, oh, is is oh that switches? Oh, oh it has the. Oh, has I don't want screen. to see that. Ew. Ah, I, I'm. I just realized they kept the exact same models for Shadow the Hedgehog, where they're like really shiny. Oh yeah. Fuck. What did I take? Oh, okay. Uh, X X. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Tails. I think I got this game for, like, Christmas or something. <laughs> Did you thank whoever gave it to you? Um, probably. I shouldn't have, though. Uh, I mean, they could have given you a better Sonic game. Actually, could they have? 
I guess at that point I already had Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. Okay, so B. Oh, I'm pressing the B button. I'm used to the A button being there. That's what I said, dude. I told you. Oh, yeah, that's right. You gotta get Sonic Pinball on VR. <laughs> In VR? <laughs> you, you're like, you're playing as Sonic. You just see like whizzing across the screen. It's just like vomiting if profusely. You're gonna whiz, go to the bathroom, dude. No. I whiz anywhere but the bathroom. Okay, this is the speed section. Sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's like going to Skid Row. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that felt like speed. Oh, we we crushed it. <laughs> Knuckles fucking like body slamming that block. <laughs> no, no, I want the key. I don't know what it does, but I want it. Oh, I've got such perfect aim. It always sounded like he said shit rock. <laughs> shit rock, shit rock. Is that just me? Because no, I always thought he said that. He's saying shit rock because he's listening to bands like Creed and, um, I don't know, Eve 6. Yeah, I love E6. Well, um, I will swallow the rinds till I choke on my insides or however. I'm like Sonic, I don't fuckle. <laughs> you think Knuckles suckles with the same uh, buckles that he fuckles? Probably. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, brother. Did you ever play Sonic Heroes, Bismarck? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think I ever played a... Yeah, I don't think I ever played a Sonic game until like... Oh, you haven't had fun. Like... Well, I don't know about past, that. Like, <laughs> what Sonic games you play? I mean, I was probably like, I think I was already like working. Like it beat the BJ's, like like I was already like an adult. I think it was just um, Sonic Mania. Mm. And then watching, and then like maybe I think watching you guys play might have become before that. At least the first couple of play th the Sonic one and two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or it might have been just before that. I don't. Know. I am not a very fast boy when it comes to this game. But it's funny because I did like, I did casually like like Sonic like, on TV like Sonic X. Sonic oh, that's X right. Shit. So like I did like Sonic and I had the toys. Uh huh. I remember oh. specifically I had a Knuckles toy first I think, but it was just like oh cool character but like I didn't know anything about the games or anything I didn't. Yeah they um my way. um they suffer from the My Hero Academia school of thought where it's just like they put all their. All their energy into the character design. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, nothing into actual, like, plot. Yeah, or, like, depth. <laughs> mm -hmm. But at least they got the music going, so that's cool. Does My Hero Academia have good music? No. Oh. <laughs> I'm saying, like, that's what... At least Sonic has that over My Hero Academia. So I can't do, like, a homing... A jump homing attack. I can, can only do the tornado. It, yeah, you can. How do you do it? The same way you've done in every other Sonic game. Oh, shit. <laughs> Crazy, huh? If it, if it helps, I haven't played any other Sonic game in a while, either. Oh, well, It's wow. only been, like, th three, four months. Since Sonic 2? I think so, right? Sonic That's a Adventure long 2? while. That's a long while. Just imagine going three or four months without, I don't know, reading. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know why I gave it that reading. cadence. That's why, I, reading. that's why I put captions when I watch TV, bro. <laughs> I do that. So yeah. you can read and watch. Exactly. Get reading, bro. Reading. Exactly. Did bro. I tell you guys I saw Martin Barr a few nights ago? I don't know who that is. He's the he was the original or not the original. He was the guitarist for Jethro Tull yeah. mm. um, from Stand Up, I think their second album, to their last studio album as Jethro Tull. Mm. It was really fun. They played a whole bunch of of the deep cuts from the Jethro Tull catalog. Mm. Like Aqualung. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Something that almost nobody's heard before, Aqualung. Uh, they did play Aqualung. Did it they was, play Mother Goose? It was cool. I don't know, actually. I don't remember. <laughs> I, I'm not as familiar with um, some of the deeper tracks. They played Bore. That was fun. Mm, cool. They played Bore. They played um, uh, Cross-Eyed Mary. Cross-Eyed Mary. That's a fun one. Mm -hmm. I'm oh. assuming they did Locomotive Breath. Right? No, actually. Really? It was a kind of a shame because they did Locomotive Breath because uh, I actually got to see them uh, two years ago with my pops. Uh, it was at the La Mirada Theater, um, and they did, I mean, that one was more of like a greatest hits thing. There was like, oh yeah, we're just playing, you know, all the, all the Jethro Tull songs. Uh, and then this time around, it was more of like, you know, oh, we're, we're exploring the history of Jethro Tull, like all these like deeper songs. Uh, did, um, they, did they do any P 
piece of thick as a brick? Yeah, yeah. Oh. And they did pe- thick of, as thick as a brick. They did a whole uh, the. I didn't even realize there was like a trio of albums that people considered like their folk rock albums, and that was Heavy songs Horses, song yeah, songs from the wood, and um, Stormwatch. Stormwatch. I always oh. thought Stormwatch was a bit more metal. Honestly, I like I'd heard it before once before. And it always felt like kind of folk metal-y because, you know, Barrymore Barlow would be doing like weird double bass shit on the drums Mm -hmm. and it just like, you know, I mean, mean, if that's what people consider their folk rock album, then I'm chill with it. Heavy Horses is good. That one has, um, oh, what's it called? It's like a song with with the word rat in it or something. Oh, oh, um, oh, no. Oh, one something mouse. Yeah, yeah. One, not one blind mouse, one, one one brown mouse. mouse. They looked at me. One brown mouse. yeah. Yeah, one brown mouse is great. Um, I like the, there's a, well, that was weird. There's, um, <clears throat> I'm going to do my team blast. I don't know what that means. Uh, <laughs> what, what's the Z button on here? That's going to be the ZR. That's what I programmed oh, okay. it as. Z. Z. Yeah, oh, there we go. go. Oh, wait, regular R, my bad. The ZR is the back one. You're right, you're right. Thank you. Oh, Wow. Look at all those colors and all those Dude, particle effects. Dude, the final smash. Yeah, that, that should have been their final smash. If there oh, was yeah, more Mar- than one character in Smash. <laughs> Martin Barlow. Martin Barr was good. Where did I go? I went down. Oh, I don't think I was supposed to be here. You can. I feel like it, it taking seven minutes to finish a Sonic level is kind of sacrilege. Oh, it has been seven minutes. Yeah, Holy I mean, shit. that's what it says over there. That's funny. I didn't even notice. That's because you're not I, good enough, new. I know. It's not the oh, game. Oh, my soul. back. You're not in the Sonic Hero speedrunning community. I know, I know. Thank God. <laughs> uh, <laughs> whoops. Yeah. That yeah. was. This game has the four campaigns almost exactly the same. Yeah, which is going to be a blast because then we're going to be like, oh, look at that part. A team blast. This is will. what we. T- <laughs> what would our team blast be? Um, Team Baja Blast. <laughs> we just all be eating Taco Bell. <laughs> Hell yeah! And then just the like, entire screen explodes. <laughs> Hell yeah! Mm, taco Baco. You can't have a palace in the ocean. But it what if says it says in the Bible? What if it? What if it floats? <laughs> what if it's a palace? If it floats, <laughs> it's a witch. <laughs> if it but sinks, if it sinks, it's a woman. And I okay. love me a woman that sinks. They're gonna say a Walmart. A Walmart. <laughs> yeah, a Walmart can sink if you, I guess, put enough water into it. <laughs> Got it. I remember I would, um. How did I miss that? Holy fuck. Ooh. Where are they go? Why are they, like, zip zooming along around me? <laughs> I would play the fuck out of this fucking game. It I looks. Don't know why. You don't know why. Is it not that fun? In um, retrospect? When I was r- uh, playing it again uh, for the test run, I was like, this is boring. Yeah, I mean, it's it's fun to look at. It's, uh, I mean, it, it probably helped that you were probably very much more into your fixation with it. Yeah. It, mm-hmm. And at the highly more impressionable. Yeah. What is your fixation now? Uh, probably One Piece. One Piece. Oh, fair. So would you just would you play terrible One Piece games? I already have some bot. Nice. And I emulated the Game Boy one. It was, was terrible. The, I feel like I've, I've I've seen like gameplay footage of it, or maybe I just read about it in a what do you call it in a Game Informer magazine back when I read those. <laughs> maybe uh, it was on the Game Boy and it was. Oh, I have a clipping. It's not very good. Clippy. But um. I feel like the Game Boy didn't have a lot of good licensed titles. Um. Mm. But I don't know. I, I have heard it is one of the better One Piece games that wow. game, game. That's funny. Um, but also, when I was emulating it, you don't get the shoulder buttons. Yeah, oh it's yeah, a little harder. That's hard. <laughs> Rare Hedgehog <laughs> Stew. Woo, woo, woo. That part used to like piss me the fuck off when I was a kid because I just couldn't avoid it. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, oh, every time. <laughs> you had such a deep voice as a child. Oh, you don't know the half of it. I don't. Tell me the half of it. I did. <laughs> well, but then now I know it. Well, I guess now you know the half of it. Oh, no. Oh. Why is that bad, huh? Dang. Oh, wait, I forgot he can do those silly little uh, wall jumps. Silly little wall jump. It's a good album name. Silly little wall jump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, I guess I can't do it from there. There's no combo system in this game. There's no grappling. Uh, there's no Did wall jumps. I tell jumps? you something that, like, really fucking irks me. 
You've is, told me a lot of is those. When, yeah, I have a lot. But I just <laughs> recently remembered. is when people were like, mm, you just lost the game. And everyone's like, oh, dang it. I lost the game. What? Is, wh Fuck. When, when does this scenario occur? You've never had that? Like, or people around you do that? Mm, I don't think so. Like, wh like, what is the... Like, can you give me a specific example of this? I, that's literally every example. Really? Just people are like, mm, you lost the game. Oh, the someone, game! Yes. Like, the, the, the old... Like, that shit. Uh, yes. Yeah, that was annoying. What I said? Well, because, like, I thought you meant, like, an actual fucking game. Like, a video game or, or oh. like, a board game. Not like that. No, it's just like where you know the point of the game was to not think about it. Yeah, which and, I hated. And it's just like you just lost the game. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? I don't think I've had an experience with this. Really? I, You've yeah. never heard of the game? That's weird. You never heard of the game? You lost the game if you're thinking of it. <laughs> yeah. That really is it. The ga the game is if it's you just like a meme. It's just some it is pretty much a meme. Yes. But if you think about it, then you quote unquote lost. Like yeah. the object of the game is to not think about it. It's just, and I have like, whoa, I have like visceral memories of <laughs> just like people in in class or on break and just being like, oh, damn it, I lost the game. And just being like, shut up! Yeah. There's no game! Just fucking grab them by the neck and you sink, just my, be cool. sink my fucking nails into their vascular vein. Noise. Their arteries. That's hot. And they're just gonna be like... <laughs> More like their farteries. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh god, I thought I was just gonna go straight into the ocean. <laughs> go on, though. Um, no, yeah, that always pissed me the fuck off. Yeah, that's that sucks. I hate that that was like a thing that was popular amongst people. I just wanna- I just wanna go on that ramp, guys. Can you stop? Why don't you just uh, go on it? I'm trying! Wonder Why does it keep pushing me to the right? Yeah, I look, there's a Wikipedia page on it. The fuck, game fuck, is a fuck. mind game. Oh my god, oh, I'm almost there. Oh, uh, uh, oh. Uh, Can you switch the tails? <laughs> hold on, hold on. I need to- I need to get in the perfect position. Shit, shit, shit. Oh. Yeah, I was like, why don't you just switch the tails? Because I wanted to be as far up as I could possibly be. Look, look, whenever I, like... Yeah, because there's a, there's a ledge there. I know, but it's like, every time I, I... I'm just trying to jump, but before I can jump, it, it pushes me into the into the, the wall. <laughs> the wall. So there's a Wikipedia article on it. The game is a mind game in which the objective is to avoid thinking about the game itself. Thinking about the game constitutes a loss, which must be announced each time it occurs. It is impossible to win most versions of the game, and depending on the variation, it is held that the whole world, or all those who are aware of the game, are playing it at all times. Tactics have been developed to increase the number of people who are aware of the game, and thereby increase the number of losses. This makes it sound like an SCP. It's... <laughs> <laughs> the origins of the game are uncertain. Ooh, spooky. The game... The most common hypothesis is that the game derives from another mental game, Finchley Central. What the fuck? While the original of version that. of Finchley Central involves taking turns to name stations, in 1976, some members of the Cambridge University Science Fiction Society developed a variant where the first person to think of the titular station loses. The game in this form demonstrates ironic processing, in which attempts to suppress or avoid certain thoughts to make those thoughts more common or persistent than they would be at random. Yeah, I hate that's, it. That's silly. The Why game is we... most commonly spread through the internet, such as Facebook or Twitter or by word of mouth. No! Yeah. I was there! No. Fuck them! Um, so yeah, I hate the I hate the, I hate the the game. You hate the internet? The internet made this. The common rules do not define point at which the game ends. However, some players state that the game ends when the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom announces on television that the game is up. <laughs> Why them? Why can't it be, like, it always has to be England. The March 3rd, 2008 edition of the webcomic XKCD declares its readers the winner of the game, and therefore free from the game's mind virus. Ah, oh, man, I should have read that. There's a reception thing. <laughs> the game has been described as challenging and fun to play and as pointless, childish, and infuriating. Yeah, in yeah. some that, internet that other forums, one. such as Something Awful and GameSpy, and in several schools, <laughs> the, the game has been banned. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm trying to win. In 2009, Time 100 poll was manipulated by users of 4chan, forming an acrostic for Marble Cake, also the game, out of the top 21 people's names. Oh, weird. That is weird. Awesome. Uh, you really can't think of an instance, Bismarck? No. I'm falling! 
Tails sounds like such a goober. Maybe I did have it, but I just didn't get it. Like, I just, just, just like, whatever. You know, that's on the internet. You blocked it out of your <laughs> brain. That's Bismarck. such a fucking dumb, that's such a fucking mean thing. It's like, all right, we're, we, we're on the internet and we're all in on it. So we're going to make it a thing. Bismarck, like, for what? It sounds like Bismarck just won the game based on his experience with it alone. Yeah. I hate it now. He was winning by not knowing about it. <laughs> yeah. Or not remembering it, I guess. Do you guys, in a similar vein, do you guys remember the game Mao? That sounds familiar. That does sound familiar. Wait. I feel like you've told us about it before. Did I tell you about the card game Mao? I think so. I think I might have tried to get you guys to play it with me at one point. I'm going to spill the beans on it. I don't care who gets mad at me about this. It's, it's <laughs> stupid shit. You're going to get fucking swatted. <laughs> <laughs> Essentially, oh shit. That's not how birds fly. Birds only fly when you throw them. What? I can't hear you over the music. <laughs> so what's Mao? Uh, Mao is a card game wherein the person who initiates the game is the only person who knows the rules. Usually. Uh, it, it works best when there's at least a few people who do not know the rules. Um, so essentially what happens is the game starts, everybody gets an equal amount of cards from the from you know a 52 card playing deck and essentially what happens is the person who knows the rules or one of the people who knows the rules starts the game by placing a card down and each and they have to be completely silent by the way there is no talking during the game of Mao um, so the the people situated around the the game where it's taking place have to guess what they have to do in order to play the game and if they get it wrong, like if they guess incorrectly, then the person who is the game leader has to give them a card. And the point is to get rid of all your cards um, first. So, you know, there's, there's only a few rules to Mao as far as I'm aware. I think it's kind of like Uno, wherein you have to, you can only put down um, cards of a certain number or suit like, if there's already, like, a 7 on the board, then you have to put down a 7, and if it's in, uh, of clubs, then it has to be of clubs. Um, or it can be of clubs. Uh, it's like Uno, essentially. Hmm. Um, but, assen but also, uh, the cool thing about- or, I remember it being cool, but it's also really annoying. If somebody happens to win the game of Mao, then the winner gets to make a new rule for the game to be played next round. And they don't tell anybody about it. Like, they make up the rule. Um, it has to be fair. Like, it has to be decided upon that it's fair um, when the rule comes into effect. But otherwise, it's just like a clusterfuck of <laughs> silence and secrecy and jib-jab. Jib-jab and flim-flam? Jib-jab, flim-flam, chatter maru. Just play magic. Yeah, <laughs> just play magic. How did you learn about Mao. Uh, I learned it when I was going to Cal State LA because there was a few people who asked if I wanted to play it and I said yes and then I had perhaps the most confusing time of my <laughs> life trying to figure out what the fuck everybody was doing silently sitting around a growing pile of cards and then somebody would put down a card and then they would get a card but we didn't know if that was good or not I didn't know if it was good or not. I was just there. Were you like, is anyone gonna tell me how to play? Or no, like? well, they just like, they say like, you know, they'd hold a finger up and, you know, to to demonstrate that I should be silent. And I was like, fuck, whatever. The middle one? Yeah. <laughs> I'd just be like that. That's funny. Too easy. Yeah. Easy. Uh, it, it very much feels like, like... Some kids in a, in the cabin in the 70s <laughs> are all like nine years old with a deck of cards that have yeah. not to play poker just made it up. <laughs> it's a Calvin ball. Calvin ball. <laughs> Calvin ball. Calvin ball. Calvin ball. Bap, 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 bap. <laughs>